Julia Rice was a popular actress in Malaysia in the early 90s. She could have become a big movie star, but she chose a different fate and became the second wife of the Sultan of Pahang. After the wedding, she ended her career, and after the birth of her daughters, she completely disappeared from the royal life of the family. What happened to her? Keep watching the WOW channel to see her eldest daughter, who now looks like a model. There are nine royal households in Malaysia, each taking its turn to rule. Today we will talk about the royal family of the Sultan of Pahang. Sultan Abdallah of Pahang was the 16th king of Malaysia from 2019 to 2024. In 1986, Sultan Abdallah of Pahang got married for the first time to Tunku Aziza, the daughter of the late Sultan of Johor, Sultan Iskandar. The marriage was meant to unite the two royal families of Malaysia. However, Tunku Aziza could not conceive long after the wedding. This posed a significant problem for the entire family, as the Sultan needed more offspring to continue his lineage. In 1990, she finally became pregnant, but unfortunately her baby soon passed away. This was a great loss for her and the entire family. Despite being married for five years, they still had no children by 1991. Although the Sultan could not divorce her, as this marriage was very suitable, he decided to marry a second time in accordance with Islamic law, which permits a man to have multiple wives. The Sultan hoped that his second wife would give birth to several heirs. One day the Sultan watched a film on TV starring Malaysian actress Julia Rice, who was gaining popularity at the time. The Sultan was immediately enamored by her amazing beauty and talent, and he considered her a potential second wife, who could bear him beautiful heirs. Julia Rice was a rare beauty, perhaps due to her mixed heritage. Her father was a Malaysian businessman, while her mother was British. Although her family did not have royal origins, they were respected in the country. Additionally, Julia's cousin Mohammed Nazri Abdulaziz is a senior politician in Malaysia. Julia started her career as an actor and model in the late 1980s. She featured in TV commercials for Procter & Gamble and Rejoice Shampoo. Her debut film was the dramatic drama Isabella in 1990, where she played the lead role. From 1990 to 1992, Julia appeared in several films, mostly in supporting roles. Many people in Malaysia were captivated by the beauty and talent of this woman. Unsurprisingly, she won the Best Actress Award in the Malaysian Film Festival in 1991. With such promise, she could have had a great future in Malaysian cinema. However, her life took a dramatic turn when she met the future king of Malaysia. The Romans blossomed quickly, and they secretly celebrated their wedding in 1991. Then she had to accept the position of the second wife. Queen Aziza had to agree with the Sultan's decision because it was important for him to have heirs. Aziza was treated for infertility for a long time and underwent 16 rounds of IVF to get pregnant at 30 years old. She had her first healthy son in 1995. In total, she gave birth to three sons and two daughters, and her eldest son was set to inherit his father's position. Julia Rice had to leave her acting career after marrying the Sultan and becoming a mother to his children. She gave birth to her first child, Princess Tenkupriti Manavzan, a year after her wedding, followed by two more girls. However, after the birth of her third daughter, Julia Rice began to appear in public less and less, and eventually disappeared from view. She has since returned to the UK and now lives with her mother, while all three of her daughters continue to live with their father in Malaysia. There are rumors about her sudden disappearance, but it is believed that the king's family wants to keep her out of the public eye.
The Sultan's first wife Aziza may have caused Julia's disappearance from his life due to jealousy, but there is no evidence for this. These are just my assumptions. Today Queen Aziza is an important figure in the Sultan's life and often accompanies him publicly. So she is the most important person who could benefit from Julia Rice's disappearance. Agree, most women will not want to put up with a second woman in their husband's life. So, the story of Julia Rice is tragic. She was forced to leave the palace and vanish from public view. She had to leave her three daughters, who stayed with their father behind. Although Queen Aziza took them under her wing, no one can replace a mother. The oldest daughter of Julia Rice and Sultan Abdullah of Pahang is 31 today. Tinku Pureti Iman Afzan is one of the most stunning princesses in Asia. Her supermodel-like appearance could grace high fashion runaways and magazine covers. However, such a career is not suitable for a royal daughter. Therefore, Princess Tenku Pureti has dedicated her life to helping others. After completing her education in political science at the English University of Nottingham, she decided to devote herself to good deeds. In 2019, Tenku Iman accepted the role of patron for the GCAP Foundation, which aids underprivileged teenagers and runs a transition home for orphans who have aged out of orphanages and are required to leave when they turn 18. Tenku Iman is the patron of an association that deals with mental illness and helps people in Malaysia receive help from professional psychiatrists. She understands the struggles of mental disorders, as she herself suffered from an anxiety disorder during her teenage years. Now she wants to promote awareness and reduce stigma. She believes that mental health should be talked about without shame. It started at 12 or 13. I didn't know I had anxiety, but I knew something was off. I was constantly overthinking and nervous. I felt like I didn't fit in, and maybe that contributed to that too. I am a sensitive person, but that's just the way I am. Just because someone can take a mean comment doesn't mean others can," she said in an interview. In 2018, Tinku Iman got married. Her husband Tinku Abu Bakar Ahmad also hails from an elite family in Pahang. It was a lavish wedding ceremony with many respectful guests. But unfortunately, her mother, former actress Julia Rice, could not attend to the celebration. This absence gave rise to many rumors, and it is unclear why the mother did not attend. Some speculate that the royal family banned her from attending the event, while others believe she may have health problems. A year after her wedding, Tinku Iman gave birth to a son and later to a daughter. Despite being a mother, the princess continues to work and successfully balances her personal and professional life. The princess also has good relations with her two sisters, who are less popular in Malaysia and lead a closed life. Even though Julia Rice has disappeared from the public eye, her daughters continue to maintain a good relationship with her. Her Highness Tinku Iman admitted that her mother remains her main support. My mom, Sikpuan Julia Rice, is my spiritual pillar and guide. I feel so lucky that I can talk to her about everything. From her I learned to build my resilience from the inside. She taught me to be grateful always, because the more grateful you are, the happier you become. She is a very spiritual person, and being spiritual, I find, helps you a lot. She made me read Yasmin Mogahed's Reclaim Your Heart and see things from a spiritual point of view, she said in an interview. As you can see, a stepmother can never replace a daughter's natural mother. Therefore, Julia Rice remains the main woman in her daughter's hearts, even though she stopped living with their father. What do you think happened to Julia Rice? Share your comments about this touching family story. Also, like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.